happy Monday. I can't even like tell you how. Uh, <laughs> first of all, like my whole morning has been behind all evening yesterday. It's like since I dropped Jared off, just like trying to plan and just get my house in order as far as like the upcoming school year and things like that and finances and put my ducks in a row and I already knew I'm starting off putting your in private school um, it would make things a little tight but I just said oh my gosh like it's so worth it um, you know just the atmosphere and the things that he's going through yeah 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 and I didn't want him to go to private school until high school I just said if we can just hold off to ninth grade we'll be good but the last two years sixth grade it was like mm, I don't know if we'll make it last year it was like oh my gosh it's a wrap and even he's like mom oh my gosh so long story short um been struggling mentally and emotionally um from I will say from A till just this morning, as far as like, is this the right decision? That's so much the right decision. This is the right decision to do it right now. You know, things like that and blah, blah, blah. I thought, um, cause I had to do the bus transportation, um, because he's going to a different school to let them know so there's enough time cause school starts at 24th. So I just assumed that, I don't know, my mind's just been all over the place, so um, I thought the place opened up at 8. I could have swore that's what I saw on the website, the school's website, that the administration office is from 8 to 4, okay? But when I got there, they said summer hours. I didn't even see what time they closed, but I saw it opened at 7. So I'm like fussing to myself, oh my gosh, you know, if I had known that, blah, blah, blah. But it was meant. God is so amazing. God, I love you. Okay. Um, oh, about to cry. I was talking to the lady. It was like like a quick wham bam. I had all the paperwork, everything she needed, blah blah blah. And she's like, "Oh, we have a lot of other kids that um, you know, left the school district over the last couple of years, going to the same school your son's going to." I was like, "Really?" She's like, "Yeah, people's faith is very important. You know, I'm even Christian." I said, "Really?" I said, "Well, praise God." And, um, you know, we were just talking about the school district, and she was telling me that they're voting for her job tonight. They cut her hours in half, and she needs to be there full time to do her job. And, of course, she needs the money, blah, blah, blah. So, right there on the spot, I just said a prayer for her, and um, I'll explain to her, <clears throat> you know, that I was trying to wait till at least ninth grade. And she was like, You're such a good mom. Um, for you to, because I was telling her, you know, as far as um, being a financial pinch and, you know, asking God to send a financial windfall, bless me with a, give me a raise where I'm at, if not, bless me with a better job, with more money, or bless me with a part-time job, and I've actually been looking for a part-time job, and people won't hire me, I'm just like, are you kidding me, like, I don't get it, so I'm not letting that deter me, and it was just like, I just needed clarity you know should I do this right now like is this will be worth it because no one wants to like um struggle no one wants to be used to living one way and things gotta change but it's like you'll sacrifice for your kid you know so um she was like you talk so highly of your son I was like I love she was she was basically saying you can tell she's like it's more than just like oh this is my son she was like you are passionate about him getting the right education and blah blah and she said and plus like um you having a son and he him being african-american and she was just like um i know this name jared coleman i know this name so she wanted to see a picture so i put up my phone and she was like that's your son she said, oh my gosh, he is such a good kid. She said, everybody loves him. And she said, yeah. When she said this, I cried. Woo! She said, 
yes, your son is different. He doesn't need to be in the school district. He said they're doing a lot of changes, and I knew it. You know, of course, being um, him being a minor and an adult, and that's working in the administration, you just can't, or even a teacher, you can't ask kids like about their faith. Are you Christian? And it was just like, I knew it was something different about that kid. She said, everybody loves him, though. Like, he's a light to so many. And then that's why um, sometimes he's gotten in trouble a few times. And a lot of people were so surprised because we're like, that's not Jared. Like, people look up to him. And um, she was saying that, um, you know, the environment is making him change. So she was like, good for you. She's like, especially knowing that's, you know, you're the mom. And I can't even, like, I'm all over the place. The conversation was more extensive, but I'm just, you know, just trying to get through it. Because I want to make a long video and be end, up, end up crying. But that just so gave me the confirmation and clarity that my flesh and my spirit needed. Like, you know what? God's going to take care of us. He is. He always does, but you know, when that faith is tested sometimes, you're like, mm, am I making the right decision? Like, I know he needs to be in a different environment, but okay, I have to take care of this and do this, and it's just me and Jared, blah, 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 but I'm not even, that conversation just like totally <sighs> gave me the peace that I needed. I'm not worried about bills. I'm not worried about, oh, I got to do this. I have to do, I'm not even worried about it. Like, literally, God indeed is going to handle it. And I told her, I said, now, I was bummed that I thought you guys opened up at 8, but you really opened up at 7. But it was meant for me to think that you opened up at 8 just so we can have this conversation and talk and pray and you give me the confirmation indeed that I needed I know I'm like all over the place you guys but this is just such like oh uh, this is so like Jesus this is like so like God to like do something like this it just this just set my whole day up it did not my day my whole life today is the first day of the best days of my life Stay and talk to you later.